Hello. So today I have, I have actually three shades. I have the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur plus Smooth Tint Stick. I think 2023 is the year of skin tints. They're bringing so many skin tints and they're all bomb. They're all fire. So I was excited to try this one as well. I got three shades. Two because I was not sure which undertone, which shade would match me because I bought them online. And one, I thought maybe I can use it as a bronzer. It's a stick. So we love a bronzing stick. So let's see if that works as well. I have it in the shade 911, something that would match my skin tone. And 23 for a bronzer. So let's first try the shade 9. I might sound a little bit low. I'm just recovering from COVID. Um, I, I'm fine right now, but still it's that lingering tiredness that is here and a little bit of sore throat as well. So <clears throat> I might sound different, but I'm doing fine. I might be a little bit lazy. I might be a little bit lagging, but we'll do this. So this is how the packaging comes. The packaging is very pretty and it has a stopper on top so that it doesn't smudge out. And this shade looks a bit lighter for me. It is definitely light, so I'm not going to open this. Just by looking at it, I feel that it's going to be light. So let's move to shade 11. Okay, so this looks more like my shade. This looks a lot like me. So let me show you the packaging first. It comes with this topper. Let me put the stopper back. And this is the packaging. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my God. Wow, that is so cute. You have the shade over here. Everything is mentioned here. This opens up. It's semi-transparent. You open this and here is the stick. The product, it looks like you get very little product. Let me focus here. It looks like it. you get very less product in this, but let's see how much is mentioned and let's see how much we are using per use. So I have my primer. I've used a very normal uh, gripping primer from LYS. They have spoken about the methodologies to wear it. It is light to medium coverage. So if you want a sheer coverage, a light coverage, you can just apply this directly on your skin and blend it out with your fingertips. If you want fuller coverage compared to the light coverage that you have, uh, you have to take a brush that's really dense, densely packed because this is a stick. That means the foundation is really very closely packed to each other. So that is how you need your foundation brush as well. The more loosely packed, the more looser brush you need. The more tightly packed, the more tighter brush you need. So I have the brush from Morphe. It is the Pro Collection. It is Morphe V102. So this is really densely packed. So we're going to try both the sides. One side I'm going to use it with my fingertips and the other side with the brush. No fragrance and I don't think anywhere it's mentioned that it has SPF as well. So we need not worry about flashbacks. But I wish there was a skin tint, especially like this, a stick that has SPF. So here we go. That is just blending. For some reason I thought there would be a little bit more grip because it's more tightly packed. I thought there would be some grip here, but that is just slipping. <laughs> it's slipping like butter. So this side, I'm just gonna blend it with my fingertips. That was very easy to blend. I normally take a little bit of time with my fingers because I want to blend it properly here by my hairline. But that was really super easy to blend. I need a closer look. And it looks good. It looks really good. It looks like second skin. Uh, yeah, it is not covering up a lot of my pores or pigments. I have a little bit of uh, dry spots. I can still see the dry spots, but it's mentioned that uh, throughout the day it would give you hydration as well. So I think today is a really good day to try it out. For some reason, I thought the coverage is going to be very, very light, but it is giving me a little bit of coverage. It is not covering a lot, but I know that it is giving me coverage because it's my skin. I look at it every day. So it looks very skin like. So next, we are going to, on this side, we're going to use the other way, other method. So I'm taking my. Uh, brush directly on this 
I'm trying to pick up a lot of product. So I've picked up this much product. It's only on one side, not the other side. And let's see if it's giving us better. Do you see that? You know what? I feel this made the work easier. This was so quick. Oh my God. I'm sounding surprised because this is not what I expected. I thought because the other stick foundations that I have, they are a little bit drier. They are a little bit drier than this, but this is melting into the skin. It's just melting like butter. And I am loving that. So in the mirror that's over there, I don't see a lot of difference when I use it with a finger, with my fingertips and the brush. Um, yeah, I don't see a lot of difference. Okay, a little bit, a tad bit, the coverage is more on the side that I've used a brush. But where I've used my fingertips, I like it more where I've used my fingertips. Because I feel that it is melted into the skin a little bit more. It's melting, it's melting really good. But I feel that it's melted into my skin a little bit more. And it is more, I can't say more skin-like because both the sides look exactly like second skin. Okay, so here on the side that I've used my fingertips, I feel that it has gone settled a little bit into my pores, but the side that I've used it with a brush, it hasn't settled into the pores. But let's wait and watch. Maybe it's just uh, delaying or lagging by a few seconds or minutes and then it'll settle into the pores. But that we will wait and watch. But wow, I am loving the coverage this is giving me. I am loving the way it is looking right now. I don't want to go overboard. Should I do a second layer? This is just a skin tint. I think one layer is more than enough. So let's go for a no makeup makeup look. I'm gonna do a very, very simple look today. So let me show you the time first. This is a skin tint, but I'm still gonna do the wear test, our regular eight hours wear test. Right now the time is 8.51 in the morning. So let me do my full face of makeup. I have some work to do. Maybe I'll finish up that work. It'll take at least a couple of hours. I'll come back and I'll show you how my skin looks and we'll talk a little bit more about the product. So see you soon. Okay, so I am back with my full face of makeup done. It's been a couple of hours. It's 10.36 right now. So it's almost two hours that I did my makeup. And because I'm recovering from COVID, my skin is going through a dry spell right now which I don't mind having oily skin all the time, having dry skin for a day or two, I don't mind that. Um, but I did read about the blurring stick when I was reading about it, I did see that it has hyaluronic acid and it hydrates your skin all day long. So I want to pull it up. It is a cream formula. It is very, very creamy. For a stick formulation, this is really creamy. I think this is the creamiest stick foundation or skin tint that I've ever seen. It's long wearing, we'll check it out. It's medium coverage, light coverage. It is medium and light, so it's light to medium coverage. It's hydrating, I would definitely say it is hydrating because I could feel that. This crease proof formula delivers a blurred, smooth second skin finish that resists fading and transferring. Easy to use, the stick helps with all day hydration and contains color true pigments that resist oxidation. Plus, it's 100% recyclable. The entire bottle is recyclable. They say that you need not even scrape or clean it up. Just throw it in the recycle bin. It's good to go. Um, the only concern I have is the product is very less. If it was a drier product, I think that less was more. You just need to dab a little less and it's good to go. But this is a very, very creamy product. So even, I think less. You saw how much I wore, right? You saw how much I used to blend. So I feel that for the amount of creaminess this has, this is gonna finish really quick. And this retails for $35. So that is the only thing I am not very sure about. I feel the product is very, very less. But otherwise, I think it's really good. In the ingredients, I don't read hyaluronic acid anywhere, but it has murumuru seed butter. Okay, it has murumuru seed butter and other, it has castor oil, hydrogenated castor oil. 
Castor oil is really good. I'm not very sure about Murumuru sea butter. I know Murumuru butter is used in the most famous physician, physician's formula, the Murumuru bronzers. So it is actually a really good ingredient, especially for hydrating your skin. So let's see it. I've never seen this in any of the skin tint or foundations. So um, my dog came in this room yesterday and it has left a lot of his hair. <laughs> so, so far I really like the way my skin is looking. So I just hope this keeps my skin hydrated. It doesn't make it flaky or dry and it doesn't emphasize more of my texture. This is definitely like second skin because it's not smoothing my textures. It is, I can see my textures. It is, I don't have any smoothing effect, but I just, I'm worrying that it doesn't, it doesn't it doesn't crease my skin because of all the butters and the hydrating products that it has I don't want it to turn out too oily where it slips away very easily because it's a very creamy formulation so I have a lot of questions a lot of concerns with this product so I'm definitely going to do this uh, wear test so yeah let me get going with my day and I'll see you soon all right so I am back for my final check-in and today we've gone way over the 8 hour mark you can see it is 641 so we're just 10 minutes away from completing 10 hours but yeah I am coming bearing not so good news because I'm just looking into my skin and I just realized the name of this skin tint is blur blur and smooth it doesn't blur it doesn't smooth because as I told you I have a lot of texture going on these days and I should have noticed that it hasn't smoothed out any of my texture. It hasn't blurred out my pores. So yeah, I do have a lot of other foundation skin tint that actually gives me a very blurred and smoothed effect, but this is not giving me that effect. I thought the only, I had to drop something. I thought the only drawback for this product would be it's gonna be amazing. However, we have just very little product in it just so much product it's very creamy so obviously when you swipe a lot of product is going to come and it's going to finish up really quick so i thought that was the only drawback so but then i realized it's a blurring and i realized it only when i was looking at my skin so close and i thought i can see my pores i can see my texture emphasized so i was just confused as what's wrong so i wanted to go through the ingredients and then i realized oh my god the name is Ease drop, blur and smooth. And it doesn't blur or smooth my skin. So I think it's a dud. There are a lot of products from Fenty Beauty that are a total hit. And there are a few products from Fenty Beauty that does not work for my skin type. Uh, so I think this is not something that works well for my skin type because I don't like the end result. Let me show you a close up so you know what I'm talking about. So if you can see, you see over here you can see all my texture it's settling this is the mark from the sunglasses that I wore but if you look at this area you can see all the texture and you can see it's clearly sitting onto my pores it hasn't smoothed any of my skin especially the forehead I hate seeing the texture over here Sadly, I have to say that this is one of the Fenty Beauty products that did not work for my skin type, but everyone's skin is different. So if you have been eyeing this and you feel that you have a skin type which would work with this type of, it is really creamy. So if you have products that are really creamy with like sheer butter, murumuru butter, and it still works well for your skin type, definitely give it a try. Maybe it'll still work for you, but for my skin type, it did not work. So that is it from my side. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.